Hey guys, welcome to my new video and right now we are going to one place that I wanted to visit a few years ago so much that all my Spanish friends told me about. It's a tiny, tiny country called Andorra, which is located between France and Spain. And since right now I'm living in a Spanish village, just a few hours away from this place, I just couldn't miss this opportunity. I'm super excited. Everybody said it's super beautiful. So, shall we go? We just reached Andorra and it was the easiest border ever. To be very honest, I was a little bit worried that they knew they allow me with my Russian passport because it's not a part of European Union and it's not a part of Schengen zone. So I'm like, oh my gosh, what will I do? And Ingrid, who been there already a few times, she's like, Dasha, chill. They're not checking anything, so it was the easiest border. And as for my first impressions, it seems that Andorra is kind of a counter of shopping malls. We saw quite a lot of them while we were driving for like 15 minutes already. So very interesting and this is because there are no taxes. So all products here are much cheaper. Another thing that caught my eye was a huge number of people riding a bicycle on the roads and worth to mention the gas here is also cheaper than in Spain for approximately 10 to 15 percentage. When you leave the cities, you find yourself in incredibly cozy small villages surrounded by mountains. And of course we decided to stop to explore this area. Just look at this town, it's super tiny, there are, I don't know, 10 houses and even in such a small place, there is a place for dogs. <laughs> wow. And after the village, we decided to go deeper to the mountains. Hey guys, just look at the view behind me. We didn't expect there gonna be snow. It's, what's the time now? It's the middle of April and people are still skiing. Wow, so good. Right now we came to Tristani Lakes. Unfortunately, the road is still closed, so we have to walk a little bit, but we're gonna hike, why not? It was so beautiful there, and I couldn't help but thinking how much I want to return here in winter for snowboarding. <laughs> so we are here next to the slope, and we can see a group of scholar kids. They, they are practicing. Maybe that is a group from a school, because in Andorra, one of the classes of physical education is, is learning how to ski. Are you tired? <laughs> and the hiking trail turned out to be a slope at the moment. We didn't know about that, so we can't go there. But later we found out that there is actually another road to the lakes for the pedestrians. So from the road till the first lake, it's one hour, just one way. And it's composed by three lakes. So if you want to go to the farthest one, it's just two hours, one way. Yeah, and the roads look like that and we are not in the right clothes and shoes and it's rainy so i don't think it's really worth the risk going right now uh, to the lakes with the weather like that but i think Ingrid, we can just walk a little bit to this beautiful site what do you think yes let's go after driving in the mountains ingrid and i got very hungry but then we saw the clock and it was after 3 p.m. It was 3.30 and most of the restaurants are actually closed. So it, we were struggling finding a place to eat. And then we found this cute restaurant with a beautiful mountain view which is open. And we decided that it, it doesn't matter, we need to eat here because otherwise we wouldn't be able to find anything. Uh, and thanks God they have some menu and menu it's, I don't know, like kind of lunch menu. So they usually have a 50% discount on the food, which will be okay, so I'm very excited to try it. Restaurants here in Spain doesn't open all day long, like you cannot have lunch at 5 p.m. Or, or dinner, whatever you want, at 5, 6 p.m. because usually just opens for meal times. like for lunch usually it's between 1 till 3 p.m. 
and after that they close they clean everything they go to their homes they rest about uh, one hour two hours and then come back and they open again till eight between eight till 10 p.m can you say why it's like that just cultural thing yeah i think so like we're used to that for the starter, they brought us tapas with pork, also there was a salad with goat cheese and pasta with mushrooms. No jokes, it's one of the best salads I've ever tried in my life. This is a goat cheese and also there is a berry sauce all together. Sweet and sour, oh my god, that's so, so tasty. I'm still impressed after the salad, it's... I want to cook this every single day, really no jokes. Oh my god, guys, just look how huge the portion is i'm absolutely shocked wow so this is mountain rice with mushrooms and meat and here is the local sausage so this is sort of risotto very tasty very soft the mushroom i don't know what what kind of mushroom is it but it's so juicy and yes i don't know feels like forced a little bit but in the best way i'm saying so highly approved i don't have space for this one here is the most local dessert, crema de catalana. By the way, interesting fact about Andorra is that Catalan language is the official language of the country and it's the only country with the official language because in Spain, Catalan, it's core language, however it's called. So let's go to try it. Oh, okay, that's so cool. Okay. It's okay. Do you know this desert, um, Portugal desert, which is super popular? So it feels like the cream is the same and just burn sugar in front. However, it's quite tasty. So at least to try it once, I'm totally up to it. So totally for the lunch, we paid approximately 20 euros. Guys, it was worth 100% like 200 percentage first of all the food was absolutely excellent i'm incredibly full and the dishes were that big that we even had to take it away with us for another dinner uh, guys right now we came to the capital of andorra and what you should be prepared for is that all parking is for money approximately two euros per hour which i think quite expensive but Oh, it's okay, bearable. So we've been trying to find it for 20 minutes. Now we found it and we are ready to go for a walk. When you're walking in Adora La Vella, you see lots of number of different sculptures would bring the vibe to the city. And of course, the main clock of Salvador Dali. Incredible work. Ingrid is the person who's been in Andorra six times, but she now left the capital and she hasn't seen the main attractions of it. Well, to own a tourist or? Morbiana Turista. Here you see the pedestrian road. And here are the lights for the people who are looking down on the sun. Wow. Here is the green. And the lights are green. <laughs> this is the national dress of Valencia. Hola! Honestly, I didn't know what to record here except the cute dogs because basically all the capital is just surrounded by shopping malls. We walk for around an hour around this city and what I can tell, this is a European Dubai. This city is just a one shopping mall, there are so many of them. And worth to say that everybody is saying that, oh, it's so cheaper, like 20% less than in Spain. It's not the price, it's approximately the same. Sometimes I even was thinking it's higher. Yes, tabak, maybe it's cheaper here, but you pay for the gas to come from Spain here. So. I don't see the point to come for shopping, but for nature, for sure. I would like to recommend you the hotel which we found, Rock Meller. We paid $63 for the night for two people and the breakfast was included. And the location is amazing, right next to the mountains. In the morning we had breakfast in our hotel, which by the way was super tasty, and then we took our car and continued exploring Andorra. On the way we saw beautiful waterfalls, ancient churches which look super gorgeous, and incredible horses, just look at them. Good morning my friends, it's the second day of our time in Andorra and here we came to see this gorgeous viewpoint. 
Well, the views here absolutely breathtaking. We are going to see right now the main attraction, kinda, of this of the country, and we are going to try something new today, something very unique, and I'm going to tell you everything. And here is the most important attraction. Look how. Right now, Ingrid and I decided to go on a 40 minutes hike and I'm very happy about this. I think Andorra it's about sport. There is nothing much to see except of course super gorgeous views, but there are lots of hiking trails, so at least we decided to try one. Well, some roads are becoming more difficult. The tower that you can see here is actually the most popular spa in the country, but we decided not to go there. We came to Natterland. It's a super popular place that if you come to Andorra, you have to stop here. It's sort of attraction park and there is also one interesting thing that we're gonna try right now. Let's see what we have in this park. You can go to a cafe or ride a pony. You can jump from a few meters on this sort of pillow and get bored in the childish maze. And also get scared on this thing. There is also a zip line, but it seems as it's not really working. Let's go! Let's go! Wow, so scary! So scary! So scary! I think we're too old for that! But the reason why everybody is going to this park is actually these slides. There is the longest in Europe slide road for five kilometers and we're going to experience it right now. Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, we just tried. What yes. do you think? Amazing, totally worth it. Yes, yep. we paid 30 euros so to come to this attraction park, but mostly 30 euros you pay for this. Totally worth it. Incredible memories, yes. beautiful view, but scary sometimes. Yes. In the end, we just came to the shopping mall so Ingrid could buy some present to her mom. And we're already on the way back home. It's gonna be three hours on the road, but I'm absolutely sure it's gonna be fun with some Spanish music. And I hope you enjoyed this video because for me, Andorra, I like it here actually. I think weekend trip is a perfect timing to come here. Uh, if you if you do some sport, like if you do some sport like hiking and etc., maybe even longer. And in winter, I'm absolutely sure it's gonna be perfect in winter with ski and snowboarding. And I think this is the timing when I'm gonna be back in Andorra one day. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to push the like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave your feedback in the comments because it's super important for YouTube algorithm. So I'm really grateful when you do that. And I'm gonna see you next week. Bye bye.